I enjoy this particular topic so much, it's almost become a bit of an obsession. In fact, it was an obsession for me for about a year in my life when I discovered that I was in love with a chess piece. All right? That took us all of 27 moves to prove that win from the initial position. 27 moves. All right? Nice ending. You, you might feel that's a nice ending. The knight marches all the way to, the, to one side from the corner on h1, goes to the other side of the board, goes to a square where it could be captured on b6, traverses the, the board to the other side to grab the pawn on g5, comes back to the other corner to a1, pawn gets to become a queen, has to do the zigzaggy motion, and then the move king to g4, and the game went, is over. So I'm in New York, just a couple of years ago, and I'm, sp I'm having a conversation with Gary Kasparov. And we're talking business about something totally different. And when we're finished, I said, oh, by the way, I, I created a cute little puzzle. And I showed him the initial position. And he went through the position with, just like we just did, he was like, knight of two, that's the only thing you can do, and knight, 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 uh, okay. And finally, we get around to this kind of position, he says, yeah, but that's kind of easy, right? And I said, yeah, I guess it is kind of easy because all the moves were forced. And so I left him that, that afternoon and I went home. I showed this position to Nakamura as well. I didn't show it to him, I actually put it on Facebook and he saw it. And when he saw it, he also said, oh yeah, that's pretty easy. It took me three hours to spit shine that sucker, polish it off. I was proud of this one. I call up Mr. Kasparov. <laughs> I said, Gary. I have, uh, I have an improvement on the position. Uh, we were, I was talking about the other business we had, which had to do with a chess building or something. And uh, we talked about it, and I said, oh, I have improved the position. He said, what position? He'd already forgotten what I was talking I said, you remember the position I showed you earlier today? You know, he said, tell me. I said, the knight on h1 and the king on h3. And, the, and he said, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right, what? So I said, well, now I'm adding a pawn on a6 white pawn and black pawn on a7, okay? So we go all the way back, 27 move journey back to the original position. I said, I'm putting the pawn on a6 and the pawn on a7. So he goes, okay, and I said, yeah, so now it's white to move and win. And I'm gonna show you exactly what happens. He's on the other line. I said, now it's white to move and win. This is what happens next. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, right, you queen the pawn and king g4 at the end wins. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? That's how it went down. I could not, I was like, it took me three hours. It took me 10 seconds to assess the whole thing, okay? And, uh, and, and so I was like, gee whiz, wow, that sucks. So you know what that meant? Oh. I got to create a harder one. <laughs> I got to create something harder. Some people will respect, because gee, Kasparov is like, ooh, that's baby stuff. Nakamura's like, that's easy. What are you doing? So I said, all right, fine, I got you. Here comes the next one. Even though when Nakamura saw this puzzle, he also thought it wasn't that hard. <laughs> or maybe he was just pulling my leg. So, all these nuances, all these king moves. I never got to show this one to Gary, but that would, be the, that would have been a conclusion to the story, a good one. But I'm afraid he might have gone, oh yeah, knight v6, and, uh, and, then and then make a knight, and when he makes a knight, I don't think he would have done that to this one. No, I don't. I don't think so. 